So back on our analogy when we have our array of marks, I simplified it a little bit and I just sh shrunk it down to five marks. Now of course we could easily make a program with five five variables to store five different marks, but we're really trying to prove a point here. Um, now what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to modify that data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an analogy for you. Imagine, for example, you ordered a pizza, and on that, and when you order a pizza, you have to supply the pizza company with certain information. Well, you have to supply it with an address, and that address is really specified by two different things. It's specified by a street and a house number, right? So we have our street. So let's say, for example, we're parked on, or we live on Main Street, and maybe we live at number eight Main Street. So that means we'd have to go through all the houses, and now, in reality, houses are numbered um, all odds on one side and all evens on the other. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So when the, pizza, when the pizza delivery person comes, they better come up here and go right to the right spot. Well, an array works in a very, very similar way. When we want to reference a very specific element, we have to supply it with all the information. The first being, which array are we talking about? This is similar to the street. So the array represents the street. The next thing we want to talk about is the address, the street number of, or the house number on the street. Well, here we deal with eight. So it's the eighth house on the street. With an array, we have another way of uh, referencing these addresses, or these street numbers. We call them index values. And an index value is how we number all the individual elements of an array. When we number our array elements, we start it at the value zero. And then we just go over and sequentially increase by one each time. So we see that this array is numbered from 0 to 4. So all of the street addresses are from 0 to 4. Now if we look at this, that sometimes can be backwards thinking for new programmers is because we have five elements. So when I'm looking for the third element, I should be looking for the number 3. But that's not actually the case since we start at 0. The third element is actually right here at 2. So let's say, for example, our marks array had the following values, 90, um, 84, 63, 75, or 74, and 81. And if I asked you what is the value at the second element, you would tell me that it's 84, because the second element is right here. However, if I asked you what is the value at index 3, you would look for index 3, the actual street address, and put it at 74. See, now, if we bring that back to the pizza delivery analogy, what we're looking at is me saying, deliver it to the third house on the street, on the right side. In that case, that would bring me to number 6. However, if I said, deliver it to number 3 on Main Street, it would deliver it right there to the correct one. So, we have to be very specific with the way we speak about arrays and how we actually access individual elements of the array. But it's these index, oops, these index values which act as our street address. Okay. In an upcoming elements or in upcoming modules, we're going to figure out how we're going to actually be able to insert and remove and modify that those values individually.